Our experiment consisted of having our test subject pose as an actor in a film for Tammy's college portfolio. Unbeknownst to her, this was actually a test to see how she would respond to our playing a loud noise whenever she said her lines. Who are you? I'm Sidekick, and I've been traveling the entire circumference of the city trying to find you. No matter. I've already The first time we played the noise, the noise was neither loud enough nor close enough and only received a very slight reaction. What's the point of all of this circle back at me? What's the point? Succeeding reactions lessened to minimal acknowledgement, only causing her to stutter slightly in her lines. Upon further consideration and the delayed arrival of one of our group members, we were able to move the source of the sound much closer to Jess, and subsequently, it was much louder to her. As a result, we observed a very noticeable reaction. But I've never seen you before. Who are you? I'm Sidekick, and I've traveled the entire circumference of the city. Sorry, I'm sorry. No matter. Again, she adapted very quickly with minimal reaction. Even after we ran through lines numerous times without playing the noise, she remained conditioned to the noise. Upon playing the noise for her the first time, after so many takes without, she still made little to no additional reaction compared to that of the other times. Who are you? I'm Sidekick, and I've traveled the entire circumference of the city. Try to find you. No matter. I've already captured your mediocre, your lackluster hero. In conclusion, we found that the subject was conditioned very quickly to our stimuli, and did not lose said conditioning very easily either. We also found that our ruse was extremely convincing, as Jess did not believe us at first when we told her that it was actually a psychology experiment.